when I think of independence, you know, I really view it through the principles of mastery and making sure that it is grounded in this perspective that also includes being an entrepreneur, right? Being a coach and someone committed to a higher calling to create more freedom and opportunity for my family, but also for our clients and being able to open the reality of what's possible to the individuals that we serve on a daily basis. What does independence mean to a mastery coach? Today, in celebration with you of July 4th, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts and how this can help you build a business that matters and win back your freedom. So we are very blessed to certify a lot of qualified coaches each and every single year from all over the world through our master's program. And every single day here, we are helping experts reclaim their freedom through the accelerator model that we teach to rapidly scale a profitable coaching or consulting business. So I just like to offer you some perspective from someone that lives this every single day, the, the ups and the downs and the challenges and opportunities that come along with it and being able to experience our clients being able to do the same thing. And just some perspective on how to appreciate independence. And listen, if this is your first time here, I'm Jeremy Bellotti, founder of Personal Mastery. We are the go-to company and channel here for professionals and entrepreneurs who are currently doing over $100,000 a year who want to leverage their unique expertise and journey of personal growth to scale a profitable high-end coaching or consulting business, increase their value, master premium client acquisition, and make a meaningful difference without having to sacrifice their freedom. You can learn more at personalmastery.com. So when I think of independence, you know, I really view it through the principles of mastery and making sure that it is grounded in this perspective that also includes being an entrepreneur, right? Being a coach and someone committed to a higher calling to create more freedom and opportunity for my family, but also for our clients and being able to open the reality of what's possible to the individuals that we serve on a daily basis. And so when I think of independence, the first thing that comes to my mind is really the personal autonomy to choose our destiny, that divine sovereignty within each and every single one of us to be able to go out there and make a difference. And really it's that freedom to think and take action in alignment with standards that we determine for ourselves and not being controlled by the thoughts or actions of others or allowing circumstances to dictate our decision-making and capacity to make meaningful, take meaningful action and be able to do things that we feel called to create in this world in this lifetime. And so this requires of us a standard of extreme ownership and really taking full responsibility to take a stand to go beyond the status quo and to really honor this standard of relentless integrity with ourselves and others to follow through with what we say we're committed to. So I also see this through the lens of being an entrepreneur and someone committed to creating more freedom and opportunity to go out there and deepen my skills and capacity to serve at a level that I feel called to do. And that is not something, right? Being an entrepreneur is not something that we just are given a title for. Like it's not a title that anyone can give you or that you can give yourself. Being an entrepreneur is a reflection of who you are allowing yourself to become. It is that freedom to become great and to serve deeply and create meaningful solutions, no matter the circumstances, that really is at the fundamental level an understanding of independence. And it's also important that we distinguish between being dependent and being reliable. So just think about that. To be reliable is to be showing up consistently with a high standard of excellence and an ability to be trusted. And so we need to be able to distinguish between these two because and have a healthy understanding of the human condition where there is a big difference between allowing your thoughts and emotions and inner peace or inner well-being to depend on others out there who don't know us, who have not earned our trust versus being, meaning developing the mindset, the skills, the emotional resilience and integrity to show up as a reliable person and able to experience a healthy ability to rely on other individuals in your inner circle who have earned your trust, 
right? Like we have this misinterpretation that independence means go it alone. Like you think about it, oh, well, the self-help section of the library, right? You think of that as being, oh, well, that's just me going it alone. Self-help does not mean go it alone. Self-help means that it is your responsibility to learn what is required for you to grow into something you never thought possible and to surround yourself with people that have earned your trust, who you are able to rely on to become someone that can be reliable. And that is through the independence that you have to make choices and to create freedom in your life and to build opportunities to grow. It is that personal autonomy to choose a path that truly speaks to the higher calling of you building something that matters. And truly the greatest gift that we can offer others is the space to fully express their full autonomy to choose and experience and learn from the results that are produced, right? From your team to family members, to the clients you serve. Imagine if you empowered them to make meaningful decisions versus attempting to convince them to do things that you want them to do. This is where a healthy appreciation for independence and really empowering that personal autonomy within each and every one of us to be able to choose and develop the capacity to grow is really important to understand because you can never speak to the heart of an individual by first insulting their intelligence. So what independence means to me is the freedom we all have to make a choice to rise beyond circumstances and go past that status quo or mediocrity and up level ourselves to a standard of mastery. And so on this July 4th, happy independence and freedom that we're blessed to have each and every single day to become more, to make a difference, live your legend and commit to mastery. Hey, my friend, hope you enjoyed that video. Listen, if you're looking for a way to increase your value, master premium client acquisition and make a meaningful difference without sacrificing your freedom, then you've come to the right place. I want you to do two things right now. Number one is click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So that way you never miss a new video and you can make sure that you get notifications. And number two, if you are an expert coach or consultant that is ready to build a reliable business online, become more along the way, and you want to work with us personally to take your life and business to the next level, then go to personalmastery.com, learn how you can become our client.